Gary, first of all, congratulations on becoming the new head coach of AFC Bournemouth. You must be delighted. Yeah, of course, we're really pleased. Um, obviously, the, the interim spell was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, to, to now be in charge full time is yeah, it's a real privilege. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to take the club forward. The last 24 hours, just tell us what they've been like from your point of view, because obviously this was announced on Sunday. You must have been inundated with messages. Yeah, yeah, a lot of messages, of course. Um, people wishing me well. Um, yeah, and obviously, yeah, just switched uh, initially to need, need to be ready, need to get the boys ready again. So a lot, a lot of work to be done the next the next few weeks before the before the games start again. Um, but yeah, yesterday was was nice, of course, when it's when it's announced and people reaching out to congratulate you. So yeah, it was it was a nice day yesterday. It was the first day back for the lads today. What was their reaction when they saw you? Because they've been full of praise for you before the break. Yeah, yeah, it was good to see them. Um, we had a, we had a, we had a good day today. Tough day. Um, Training-wise, obviously it's a unique situation to have to, to do sort of a, a, a mini pre-season dur during the season is, is unique. So um, yeah, it was good to get, get all back, well, most of us back together. Obviously a couple of the boys still away. Um, but yeah, it was good, good to get back together, good to see them. Um, and yeah, a lot, a lot of work to do over the, the coming weeks. You've made it clear before that you've always wanted to be a manager. What was it about management that you know, drew you toward, towards it in the first place? Um, yeah, I think I, I just love the game. I always have. Um, when I was playing, I used to think about the game a lot, um, and I, yeah, I enjoy all the details really on managing a group and, and how you get the best out of people, and tactically how you get the best out of, or you manage to come out on top against other teams. So yeah, that, the whole thing, um, the whole thing, how you improve players. So yeah, it's just, obviously I've, I've been working a long time to. To get this opportunity to, to get it out of Premier League club is, is, is huge for me and um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. You only retired back in 2019, I think 542 playing appearances. Do you feel that that experience as a player, obviously not too long ago either, can certainly help you when you're managing a group of players and talking to players? Yeah, I think it, it doesn't feel long ago that I stopped um, and obviously had, uh, had to stop through injury so it was sort of cut, cut short a little bit for me so I still feel like I'm involved in that side. I still feel like my brain's geared up still to be involved um, and just, just transferring that to, to being on the side and knowing how it feels to be out there and, and how certain situations feel definitely definitely gives you an advantage to be able to, to help the boys through, through certain situations. Obviously after that you were at Liverpool as an academy coach. You were then here from February 2021 as a first team coach. Two very different experiences with different groups of players. How much do you feel that's shaped your experience and can help you now you know, taking charge of a team? Yeah, I think firstly the, the spell at Liverpool was huge for me to go and work at, at such a big club in my, in my first coaching job, to be, to be around some elite level coaches um, and of course I, I only work, working with the under 23s but um, still some, some top players in there and you, the, the level of work you have to do is of a, is a, is of a real high level. Um, and then to come down here of course under, when, when Jonathan was here um, and have the playoff experience like we did um, and then yeah like last season the, the promotion so yeah I've, I've, I've learned a lot I've learned a lot um, and as, as I say I've been working hard for for a long time probably the best part of a decade now to get myself ready for for football management and um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to proving to everyone that I'm ready. Are there many changes that you're going to make you know from when you were in charge as an interim head coach to being the head coach now obviously before you very much had to take it one game at a time whereas now you can presumably think a bit, bit more forward. Yeah I think at, at this moment with, with no games coming up you, you generally think a little bit more long term anyway so there's, there's things that you look to put in place that, that can improve what, what we do um, but I'm, I'm sure once the games come back around it'll be switching focus to the next game always with so yeah, I, I believe there are always sort of short-term goals that are, that are really, really important, but you need to have the, the long-term ones going on in, in the background as well. So we, we always try and improve both. How much have you taken from those 12 games where you were an interim charge? We faced so many different scenarios in that time. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was, it was a really interesting spell for me. There was some, some real good stuff in there. There were some bits that we obviously need to improve. Um, but yeah, the, the main positive for me was what the lads managed to produce. Um, as, as we know, they, they came from a, from a tough place. Um, we had some tough results initially and then to, to show the spirit um, they did and perform the way they did for, for pretty much all of the 12 games, but uh, definitely for large parts of them. Um, 
yeah, just just shows what they're capable of. So I've, I've really enjoyed working with them for that for that 12 game spell, and delighted that, that I get to do it for a, for a sustained period now. I was going to ask you about the group of lads we've got here because you've been full of praise with them in, in post-match interviews before. They've always given everything for you. Just a word on the group and how much you're looking forward to working with them a bit more long term. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great group. Um, I think that they, they gave a lot, of course. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask more of them still. I think there's still more in there. I think we can still do more. I think everyone can do more. Um, it's a tough league. It's, it's the, the, the best league in the world, so it's... Every game is going to be very, very difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm just, just really excited to see where we can take the group, see how, how far we can push them, what levels we can get to, um, and ultimately to, to make sure we survive this season. What's the plan for the next few weeks? Obviously, we've got this training camp to Dubai on Wednesday and obviously a good spell to work with the players before the games kick in again. Yeah, so the plan, as you say, the, the, the interim spell was very sort of there's a next game coming very quickly all the time. Now it's to lay down some real foundations on, on how things need to look, what's expected, um, how we play. Um, to try and just improve the boys' understanding so, um, so they're better at, at managing each situation that they, they find themselves up against without, without need of things from the side all the time. Um, so yeah, just to improve how well they understand what we do is, is going to be massive for us and obviously the, the fitness as well because the, the boys have had a little break. We've had a few boys that have been out injured, so it'd be good to get them all back and, and make sure we're, we're firing come the, um, come the cup game at Newcastle. And just finally, do you have a message to the fans? Last time you were here, you know, they were singing your name at Vitality Stadium after that brilliant win against Everton. Do you have a message for them? Yeah, re re really grateful. I think they... Um, as well as the players, they, they bought into what we were trying to do as well. Um, and that, yeah, they, they stuck with the lads. I think it's, I spoke about it a lot, but it's really important for me that they, that they are with the boys. Um, it makes a big difference when you're out there playing, when um, the fans understand what you're trying to do and, and they stick with you. Um, and they did with, with, in, in some tough moments as well as some good ones. So um, yeah, really pleased that we got to go into the break off of two big wins. Um, really pleased that the fans enjoyed it and yeah, I, I appreciate their support of course the, the, um, the support we get here at home is going to be huge for us in the, in the, in the next few months to, to help us stay in the league.